Welcome one, welcome all, welcome to another exciting episode of Victory in the West. I am Bridger, and today we are popping back in. Back into Normandy. It's time. Let's see what there is to see in the Normandy breakout. Oh. Uh, there we go. Turn that here. So, we had quite a victory in the previous scenario, but we also spent a lot of prestige to make that an assurance. The original Overlord scenario was a bit of a disaster. We lost a lot of steps we should not have lost. But that second one may have made up for it. We've breached the Bocage. Shafe has activated Patton's third army, and your orders are to unleash his force into the enemy's rear areas. Our supply situation is still precarious, and as such, you're free to divert forces to capture French Atlantic ports, but do not lose sight of your primary objective. Okay, let's zoom out a little bit here. Okay, so we're now... Wow, okay, the scale has changed, right? Wow! The scale has completely changed. What we're looking at here was the entire map of, like, hundreds of hexes in the previous one, and now it's just this tiny, I don't know, what, 25 hexes, the whole Contentin Peninsula? That's insane. Can they do that? Is that, does that work? I guess so. Uh, so what are our objectives? Because of our previous uh, capture of the breakout hex, we start with control of, of, of ranches. That's one of our objectives. We already got there, and we got some units around behind the enemy, which is good. Uh, Le Mans is another objective. Chatres in the Paris suburbs. Wow, we have to get all the way over there. That seems like it's going to be a bit difficult. But other critical objectives. Brest, Lorient, saint Nazary, and wherever this is. Ah, an HQ upgrade if we can get to there. I'm surprised. How is La Havre not a supply point? Maybe they blew up the ports when the Americans landed? That's gotta be it, right? Because La Havre is a huge, huge port, as I recall. Um... All right, so planning. We do have some units coming in on turn three. Whatever the DB is is going to pop in there, but that's it. Other than that, what we see is what we get. The good news is what we see is a lot of units that still retain their advantages from the previous scenario. And now the... Rivers are all major, right? There's no such thing as a minor river anymore, I think. Because... No, I guess there still is. I don't know if I can... Well, hang on. Is this... Doesn't really tell the difference. Between... Oh, yeah, it does have a major and minor river difference. So what was a major river before is now just a minor river. Interesting. The operational scale has changed. Because you can see there, that's a major river. It's a thick white line by comparison. That's the one that goes up to Paris. All right. So first things first, let's check out our HQs. We've got all four HQs this time. So here is the British HQ. Do they have anything to distribute? They do. Let's distribute one UK armor if we can. There we go. Now, we've got two Canadian infantry. Nope, we have no Canadian infantry attached to the British HQ. It would be nice if we could give those to the Canadian HQ. Yeah, there's no option here. Maybe an upgrade lets you do something like that. Hello, Mental. Yeah, we can use the whole map. And let, add one more thing before we get to this. You know, you can see the, the darkened areas here are places we can't go. What's their supply? So they're getting supplied from Paris and from Amiens. And that's it. They are not getting supplied from the bottom part of the map. Interesting. So what that means is, if this armor cuts this supply line, then 
everything over here is open. You can see they do have a truck here, right? And that truck must be supplying people defending Brest and maybe Lorient. But it all depends on this railroad, which we can cut like on turn one. And that would let the units over here push out to get those vital uh, supply areas to increase our theater supply. So that's pretty good. All right, anyway, uh, so that is one good thing to learn. The other thing to learn is the main b balance of their forces is going to be supplied through these three rail lines here. And those aren't going to be nearly as easy to cut. Anyway, we were looking at the HQs and what they could distribute. So we can't distribute any more UK armor. We can't distribute any more uh, from this. So let's go to the American first. Do they have any to distribute? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Oh, because all of the American armor is still at full strength. Hey, we finally got an American armor division that's not trapped at four steps. The fifth armored. Like, for some reason, the third armored can only have four steps max. I'm not 100% sure what's going on with that. But anyway, it's good that we've got more. But that's not the first. That's the third, apparently. Anyway, the first also has some infantry steps, which we can do. Ah, we only need one that needs reinforcements. Okay. And then the third has no reserves because they, they just got here. So that's Patton's third army. We were fighting with Bradley's army in that last scenario. So what do the Canadians have to give? They can provide some infantry to the UK. Well, let's check these guys real quick. These are elite. If we drop in a step of reinforcements, does that make them veteran? I mean, they could get back to elite eventually. Especially if we don't give them any more steps. But they're going to survive better and do more for us. Is that extra shift worth an extra three attack? I think yes, but I don't think we want any more. So they'll gain um, an extra five. So that only takes three enemy casualties before... Uh, they'll get back to elite. So let's go with that. Anyway, where do we put the other infantry step? Oh, no. Wrong thing. We don't want that. We don't want them to go down to 266. I want to put the other UK step over here. And then we've also got a Canadian infantry we can drop there. All right. So the good news is all of our stuff is like full strength and the enemy, that is not true of them. Um, and I really want to avoid spending any prestige. We spent a lot before. These guys are weak though. And we can't deploy any reinforcements to them. Good news is we don't have to use them, right? And here's an interesting idea. We could reorg steps from this group and give them to that group. Actually, we could fully remove them? Is that true? Huh. I don't know if we want to do that, but let me look at this. What was their situation before we did that? They are just regulars. Nothing special about them. If we do that, are there any other American... Like, this is an armor from the U.S. 3rd. That doesn't really help us, though, does it? Let's see. Yeah, one U.S. armor step is cheaper now, I think, because we have the infantry we just pulled back. Let me find out if that's true. So that was 15. If we give them guys back their thing. No, it's still 15 because you're getting it from reserve completely. I 
I mean, I think I'm going to pay for this armor step. Because of anything... If we're going to pay for anything on the entire map, it's just this one armor step. And we'll keep the rest, all 184 prestiges, kept for everyone else. So I think the way that we're going to deal with this is we're going to use the Canadian and the British to hold this line while the U.S. 3rd Army rolls around behind them and the 1st Army tries to uh, grab our supply ports over here. I think that's what we're going to try to do. The thing is, the 1st Army has no armor attached to it anymore, does it? Doesn't look like it. So, I guess pieces, elements of the 3rd are going to have to be the ones that go this way. But again, we take those after cutting this, first and foremost. Alright, there's not much left to do, then, if the British and Canadians are holding this area between these rivers. The U.S. first has to be in charge of the border with the Germans here, and the third will be in charge of getting behind them and wrecking havoc. So that all having been said, let's move this U.S. first... Let's see if we can't find a good spot. I think that's the spot right there on this road. Because it's still going to be in supply. Our main supply route comes down from Cherbourg is the problem, right? That's a big problem. I didn't really think about that until now. We've got, you know, bad supply because this truck is not on a road, or not on a rail. It's five hexes off of a rail network. One, two, three, four, five. Which means it has lower supply to begin with, and since we're starting with only 60%, that's a problem. Where can we get better supply? Brest would, is a port, so that would give us supply. And so would St. Nazaire. I think that's our main... That's one of our main objectives, get to St. Mazaire as soon as possible so that this rail network can work for us. The problem is that this road right here doesn't extend the rail. If this rail could get up here, that would be perfect for us. But as it is, we need a breakout over here, too. So the British and Canadians have to do some work. Hmm. All right. So, all that having been said, I think the Americans probably is inside the hex of the supply depot 100% guaranteed. I think it must be. It would be nice to extend the HQ range, but we can't pay for upgrades until the next conference. So, you're not wrong about that. We're going to have some problems with the range. That's why I'm kind of preemptively moving the first right to here. And the third will go even further. The third I want on this railroad in Avranche. Or do I want it even further? That's real tough. I don't want to risk it being disrupted, so I think keeping it right there is a good place. Now, we do have four trucks to go with us. That's going to be really useful. And we've got another four already on the board. Now, those trucks aren't going to be super effective because of the aforementioned supply issues until we can capture um, these ports, all of which are going to increase our theater supply. So if we capture all three, we get to 90% theater supply, and we get these railroads down here working for us instead of against us. So we don't need to put down any more trucks at the beginning. And I don't think we need to move our supply depots either. That one is as far as we can possibly get it inland. We might add some trucks to this one, but realistically, this has got to be a high priority. 
All of these are take by turn eight, except Le Mans need to take by turn five. So that's important to understand. So I think to that extent, can we spare one of these armored units to rush down to Saint Nazaire? I don't think we can. I think we need all of them getting around behind the enemy here. Maybe this armored unit can do it. Because by the time... Yeah, because remember, the enemy is supplied on this rail network. So we cut this supply on turn one. And then by turn three, St. Nazaire is much easier to take. So this armored up here can probably be the one that comes down here and gets that for us by turn four, which lights up this in entire interior and gives supply to our entire breakout force. That's our timetable now. Good morning, Blast Pop. We could motorize the cheap infantry, and I was thinking about that as well. But anyway, all that having been said, do we want to move the British HQ? It's only got one, two, three, four, five divisions attached to it. It's not a lot. Actually, what is this armor? Polish armor attached to the Canadians. Like, we've, we've packed so many units into this tiny area. We've got to push. But the good news is we have a lot of HQs, which means we have a lot of CPs with which to use our specialty attacks like uh, suppressive fire. And one of the Americans got an upgrade. Was it the third? No, the first. The first got an upgrade, so we're really good at suppressive fire. It now costs less CPs to use it. Um, but the Canadians are where they're supposed to be. The Brits are probably in the right place. I don't think they need anything else either. I think we're ready to go. What's the weather like on turn one? Ooh, weather's awful over here. Probably not going to focus a lot of attacks over here. But if there was going to be weather somewhere, I'd rather it there than in the breakout location. So, first things first. Who can get behind all these panzers and cut them off? Can we get armor? Oh, wow. Why can't it go any further than... Oh, because that's an enemy right there. <laughs> that's kind of valuable to pay attention to. We've also got one saturation strike. I think we want to use that this scenario. We'll be able to buy more cards in the next one. Where should we use it? I think... Right here. Yeah? It's got a small chance to hit our unit as well, but... Those are elite guys. I don't want to lose them. Damn it. I don't know the odds. I don't want to take them. We'll hit this guy. And hope that we can... You know what? Right here. This actually has a chance to hit more than one. Let's do it. Yes! Very effective. Now, I want these guys out of the way because I want these guys to drive in behind them. If we could get to this barrel, huge numbers of them are cut off. So this guy needs to die and he needs to die quick. He's the key that's holding their entire defense in place. And he's gone! Now, we can't quite get to where we want, but this guy can make it all the way down here and cut the supply. Oh, you know what? It won't completely cut off their supply here. I don't know what that truck supply is. I gotta look that up real quick. Supply sources. Rail, port, truck, land-based supply source does not connect to rail, or ship beach.
supply sources and railways are able to su only supply a narrow strip of land along the railway. Trucks can be removed supply. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't really say. Oh, oh. Trucks land based supply source does not connect to rail. Okay, so that's good to know. So the supplies that they do get from these cities doesn't connect to the rail network, apparently. So it can't supply anything else that's not nearby. So I still think it's a good idea to get somebody down here to fight those guys. Can these guys get down there? Not quite. So these guys can move as far as possible. I think those guys can move the furthest, actually. And it will lock the enemy into place. This may be a mistake, but we're going to try it anyway. No, 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 no. I think the other armor can do that. Yes, it can. Ah, but it can't do it as effectively. Forced them out. These guys are just going to come in this way. And then to guard their flanks, we send this guy down here. They have an attack penalty because of the city, which is a disappointment. But these guys, if we truck these guys, how far can they get? They can't get to here because it's within an enemy zone of control, I guess. That's too bad. Let's undo that, then. Whoa, these guys need to get them out of the way. That's the main thing, right? Now, if we use them, they still can't get there. So I wonder, if we truck these guys, how much further can they get? One more hex. Well... I think we do it. It's the only time they're really going to become truckable. How's our supply situation? These guys are out of supply, so we've got to add one more truck here. Yep, that fixes the supply for this turn. This armor goes as far and fast as it can. I think this armor, I do want it to follow up with these guys and just protect against enemy uh, counterattacks. These guys. Do we truck these guys as well? Let's consider what our other military options are. These guys already attacked. Well, we don't need any specialty attacks. That's good with me. Taking territory, putting pressure on them, all good stuff. That armor can't do its job because... Aha! Damn. Now it can, even though it's across a river. So we can send somebody else in. Nope, not across the river, huh? We don't want the armor to cross the river. But we do want somebody to cross the river, right? Unfortunately, it's going to be these guys. Now, British HQ, can you build a bridge right there? Because that will make your ability to fight significantly better. And so will this, honestly. We need quick movement. I think that's a good place to start, is building those bridges. So the British HQ's out, but but uh, the Canadians still have stuff. These guys don't have artillery specs. These guys can. Ah, 
it's too bad. These guys can get out of the way and let the specialist come in. What does the specialist have? One to one? Yeah, we'll take it. Ah, we lost some other specialist steps, but you got to do what you got to do. I'm worried about these guys holding a line, but they're doing okay so far. So these are still U.S. infantry. We need to get them closer to the front. These guys need to go as far as they can to help slide around. Ah, we've got another group that can come in and hit them. If they do, it's not great. So we've got, what is this? Hobart's funnies are amphibious specialists, so putting them up front is a good idea, I think. Now the enemy's supply does have a chance to not work. So where are this, where's this British armor gonna break out? Oh, there's a build, bridge being built there. That's what that says. <clears throat> if that armor can break out, look, we've almost pierced them right here. Like, these two tanks are holding everybody else in place. So I wonder if we don't push right now anyway. We'll do a set piece attack to remove their defenses. Ah, it didn't work. That's too bad. Try again. Damn it, those bastards do not want to give up. We can shell these guys to weaken them for next turn. So they can't hit so hard. Uh, those guys, I think we used up all our command points, so those guys can't do much either. These guys are actually in trouble now. They lost a lot of steps of suppression, so they're going to get killed. The 2nd Canadian Infantry is in big trouble. They've got... They've got... Oh, they have anti-tank, but it's not active, so they are absolutely going to get crushed. Um, I wish I could give them a, a rear guard order, but them's the breaks. We took our... Took our chances doing the uh, set-piece attack against these guys, and it didn't work out. I should have looked at the numbers. So this Polish armored... I guess they can move forward. Really, though, we just need to push as far and as fast as possible. All right. These guys have nowhere to go. Do I use them around the outside as well? I think I do, even though it's going to be far away from the HQ. I mean, there's just nothing we can do with this armor here if it's backed up. So the good news is, none of these armored units lost their steps at all. So even if they're cut off for a turn, they're still fine. They're going to be able to operate next turn. Behind every greeter, there was, uh, great leader, there was an even greater logistician. Yes. I don't know if the British can break east. This is weak now. We've just, we have so many forces. We need to widen the front. I'm working on it, but it's going to take some time. This is probably the biggest and best way to do it. Um, which makes me wonder if I shouldn't send this British armor around as well. That still leave three British armored units in that center area to help push out when the time comes. But I think that is the right thing to do. They're now ready to provide support to this armor as it continues to rush east. This is the American unit I was probably going to send to help in the west. We'll see if that winds up being the case. The problem is, if there are any German units over here, they're defending the cities, in which case this armor is not great, so maybe I don't do that. Oh, so these guys could actually move out. And an armored unit could move in. 
because they just did an artillery strike. Now, why is that only one to one? That's an incredibly weakened enemy in the open. And we can still only do one to one against them? It did nothing! Nothing! Well, fine then. Useless armor. I mean, I know it's elite, but we were veterans. I'm not attacking this, obviously. Oh, it's bad weather, too. It's minus two. Damn it. That was kind of a mistake. Oh, well. We got reinforcements in there to help hold it. These guys are doomed. We'll put the British second up here to hold Khan. I need to leave a hole. Oops. I need to leave a hole for these guys to retreat to. Because if they're cornered, that's a problem. Yeah, I think I screwed up this eastern situation. We don't want to trigger that. Do we want to trigger this? We didn't actually look. So that does actually put everybody out of supply, except for the stuff around the trucks there. This guy's still in supply, but how? From these trucks? Is that really how he's getting supply? Doesn't seem like he should be able to. Zok doesn't block supply, unfortunately. Maybe these trucks, the two trucks here, can probably get around to him. So the good news is these guys in St. Malo are out of supply. All of my guys are still technically in supply. Maybe the weather will move on by next turn, and then things will be better. Oh, we can actually push forward a little bit with this infantry. Provide even more zones of control. Can somebody else move forward if they do? Not really. They go here. The enemy can go here. And what does that do? Doesn't really block anything, does it? Hmm. Yeah, I think we want this guy guarding that forest. Because if they get to this part, they can't do anything across the river. So these guys can move up to here, but then they're blocked by infantry in these two hexes, and they can't immediately go across the river because they need to start adjacent to a river to get across it. So that is an okay move. I think. These guys can't get out of there because we screwed them up. Should not have done that set piece. Not in the bad weather. All right, we're going to see the repercussions of our bad decisions on the east there right now, I think. Hey, Black Corp. Maybe not. They're trying to run away. Oh, and they're blowing bridges like sons of bitches. So, they escaped some of the wrath. Ugh. Unfortunately, we got to pay to get these guys back in supply for the turn. Oh, that doesn't give them their main steps, though, so let's not do that. I thought that would give them their artillery back, but no dice. All right, bad weather is still over here, though. It's awful. We do want our armor to get over here. Like, do we do a set-piece attack here to try one more time to reduce the fortification? Because if these guys come up, 
they might do it. Or do we suppress them? That's an interesting question. Let's come back to that. Let's see if we need our air assets anywhere else. Because it doesn't look like we're going to be able to break through both of these units, especially with the bad weather there. Why can't... on average because of the terrain because it's a city why is suppression so weak here because the oh okay well those guys are out of supply we want to try to suppress them but if it's got no chance of success then I guess we just leave that army there to pin them in place if we truck these guys again they can get to St. Nazaire. What are the odds somebody's defending it, though? I guess we gotta try. Yep, we found him. So, this is the armor we were gonna send to help. But, we're gonna need more than armor because it's a city. So we're going to truck these guys. Eh, let's not truck anybody else until we know for sure what we're going to do here. This guy is the linchpin to defending them again here. Can we bomb him to death? Yes, and those are elite, so every step we take away is really valuable. We can actually go right around him now because he's weak. This guy's weak, too. And this guy. We can go right around all of them. Oh, that's brilliant. Um, he can get all the way to here and maybe get rid of that guy. And then he can go even further. Ah, that guy. That's a problem. He's not going to let us. Yeah, we get no good odds there. This armor is going to continue to push, I think. These guys are outrunning their supply, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, damn. Oh, damn, they can get to Le Mans and cut the supply. Oh, no, they can't. Those bastards, get out of there, you pieces of crap. I didn't even see that before. Well, hit them while we can. He can get even closer to Le Mans. Get to a bridge, they can't blow it. Now, we are way out of supply here. Let's say we give another truck to here. How close do we get? We have to give two more trucks to keep them all in pseudo supply. So we've got the other two British armored that can come around to provide support and protect the logistics situation. And these guys can't even get over there. Is there weather? Yeah, it's weather. It's going to slow them down. Bastards. These guys can go here, and then those guys can get here. So that they both have their artillery for next turn. Because these guys are out of supply. And it will matter once the weather goes away. These guys got weather too. but And they're out of supply. They just, just, just 
outran their supply. Ugh. We can't even put another truck there. They're also way out of their HQ. Let's move the third HQ then, unless uh, we still have stuff to do with it, actually. They actually could do that again. Oh, oh my, we can hit that Panzer Grenadier group and do damage. And these guys. Ooh, that could cut them off. Okay, now we gotta get some movement around the line here. These guys can move up. These guys can move back. And the armor can move forward to finish this off. Oh, the British have been upgraded. Ooh, specializing a set-piece attack would be really useful. But so would an extra command point. Hmm. Six is a decent number. Let's let's getting this down to one. That's huge. Damn it! They can't quite get there. These guys can back up, and these guys can come in and do some more damage. Now, damn, I can't actually get to this spot. That's kind of where I want these guys to go, but c'est la vie. Um, these guys are going to truck. These guys are going to truck. These guys can't truck. They're just going to walk. These guys have to stay where they are. But they don't anymore. Oh, these guys still have another attack they can do. Well, everything's falling apart on them now. So, their supply situation is growing more and more tenuous. We're so close to it, though. Man, we're so close. But what the hell happened to these guys? I didn't realize they lost so many men. When did that happen? Did I attack and not notice how bad the odds were? This guy's toast. He's overexposed. There's nothing we can do about it. But man, we were close to those trucks. They might pull those trucks back, which will leave some guys out of supply. Now, the problem over here is still this damned weather. Only a 50% chance to get rid of that entrenchment. We got it. But man, it was costly. <laughs> These guys need to come back and do something else here. Can't do a set piece attack, but we could hit them with artillery. Can these guys get all the way over there? They could. Yeah, so let's hit these guys with artillery. Because we got priests with us, we might as well take advantage of it. Move these guys back a step and bring in this British armor. 
just leaving them with less and less to do. This is a breakout pos position the British need to take advantage of. Now I kind of wish I did have more trucks in the area. really fit anybody else in the front line here. These guys are weakened, so i got to try to switch them out here. These guys have 25 pounders and that's it. They're okay, though. Once this weather clears on, the, on this side, then I've got to really start shelling across this river and do as much as I can. I mean, we still can shell them uh, if we have a step that can do it. Oh, no, no, I can't. Okay. So maybe this. Okay, yeah, we can move these guys down, move these guys up, so that we've got artillery along the riverfront. Okay, so we've got some infantry here. What do these guys do? They can't get in here to grab that hole. The best they can do is come over here to support the front. And I think that's what they should do. Hang on. Uh, we don't have any steps for them. That's right. We were going to undeploy these guys. And I think we can do that now, to be honest. And then next turn, we give these guys the free steps. Now, that's not going to help us for two turns now, but it's still going to help us. Alternatively, what else What else is possible? These guys could just travel south and grab this stuff. That's not really useful at all. There's no supply that we need to disrupt from the enemy. There's no benefit to our own supply there except for these hexes. Could we get these later? Because if we do ever get Brest or Saint-Nazaire, these are going to be crucial to getting supply forward. So maybe we get these now? We put him up here, where he can actually help defend the tank. I don't think they're needed there. I think we do this, and this, and now we've got the road for the future. We don't have to worry about coming back for it, or the rail, rather. Do these guys go anywhere special? I think they can't, and the problem is they're just out of supply. They can't get back in supply for some reason, because they're one step too far. Only having those two bombers is a giant pain right now. Oh, now here's some guys that can't move, actually. They're kind of trapped where they are. Hang on, do these guys have a set piece? Ah, yes, shell them. And now they're stuck. Unable to do anything else, though. Maybe we do hit them here. Eh. They're on the back foot. I don't think we want to waste our units. So these are British infantry. Out of supply for a turn. We could put them back in supply by putting them on the railhead here. But. That's dangerous. So the good news is, where's the movement? Is this the movement? So... Enemies blocking these, but we are too. All four, five, six of these guys here are trapped. They can't travel through here without stopping. This guy's weak, actually. He's going to get crunched. So never mind, I'm wrong about that. That was the idea, but it didn't work out. I think these guys need to stay forward, though. They travel backwards again, they're not going to be able to do anything. Can these guys move out of the way? No, they can't. Oh, 
Oh, these guys get a little bit more movement. Let's use it. These guys are just going to come back here and defend the HQ. All right, that's it for the turn. Is this the turn we get reinforcements? Next turn. Yeah, I mean... Let's take a quick look at the supply network. This is the guy that's out of supply. Everybody else is technically in supply. But I don't think there's anywhere I can drop a truck that helps him. No. Five is the max you can put down. We just don't have the railhead to do it. So, sorry, buddy. Uh, here's the thing. You belong to what, the third? Can we move the third HQ? Closer? So that they can supply him next turn? Like, will that... That'll completely screw our tanks, right? What if we went to here? He's in range. And a lot of our tanks are in range, actually. Not all of them, but many of them. To get the XP from combat and such. Let's back up one step. See how far to the right we can go while still keeping that guy down there. In range. I mean, here's the other thing. We're going to need him to use his artillery to take Saint-Nazaire. Who else can get down there? Somebody else should get down there. I thought it would be these guys, but these guys are the wrong army. In fact, let's bring that army down too. That's too far. That's too far. No, maybe it's not. Let's see. Can we get them... Here? No, they're, they're, these guys are all out of supply. They don't need to be... Not in, out of supply, they're out of range. They don't need to be in range, though. You know who does need to be in range? The people that are going to get us supply to the entire southern salient. So he's going to come down and set up in reams. Actually, even further forward. Because I'm going to need this guy to truck down here. We need both of them adjacent to that city so that they can shell it and then move in and take it out. That will get supply to our entire southern force, which we desperately need. All right, we're going to hit the button. Get the hexes or forget later. <laughs> That's one way to look at it, mental. I got the hexes so I don't forget later. But the British need to move forward at all. The British HQ, if it's going to move, is now the time to move it. I don't think so. I think it's okay where it is. We might need its stuff next turn. We've still got one extra truck we can use with the British and Canadians if they manage to punch through here. Yep, saw that coming. Don't take our prisoners, please. Ooh, we didn't do any damage back? Come on! Been worse. He willingly drove two panzer steps into the center of that salient. Or in, in the center of the, the bulge here. Ten units disrupted. Yikes. Damn, look how close we were to Le Mans. I think this guy's got to go. If we can, the British can finally and the Canadians can push down here to help. So I think that's our target for the air attack. Right now, it's minus one because they're entrenched. They don't have to be. We might not need the air attack, actually. Yeah, we do. Knock them out. There we go. Those guys are now super elite. Ooh. 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 Upgrade the Canadian first. The pinning attack becomes much less expensive. Or suppression attack becomes less expensive. 
This one's typically more used, so let's do that. Oh wow, we can actually go even further and hit them again. Good job, the British Airborne doing their thing. Now this armor, yeah, can get us connected. These guys are gonna... No, they can't. Crap. Can these guys... No. Alright. Damn it, the armor has to go here, I think. I want it to go further, but I'm pretty sure this is where it's gonna get stuck. To defend that bridge. It's unfortunate that this armor's in the wrong place right now. I can change that. The faster we churn our way through these guys, the better. So this means our American armor doesn't have to worry about this piece over here. Damn, we lost a step there. I didn't want to, but we did. That frees up the rest of these guys to, uh, well, not quite. It frees up these guys, I guess. Get as far south as you can. Now, we can finally put a truck here and get better supply. If only we had more trucks we could put right here. I think we'll take one truck off of this. Can we take both off? Yes, that's even better. Yeah, in fact, this doesn't even need to. Oh, it does give better supply chances for everything in here, though. So maybe we'll leave it right there. I think if we were to put the truck across the, the bridge here, it gets worse supply if it's not otherwise compared to it being on the railhead. Okay. So we've moved the HQ specifically to take St. Nazaire. It's critical. Crucial. And yet, it's not as crucial anymore because we punched through with the British. Damn it. Let's still try. So first up, these guys didn't need to get emergency supplied, which is good because these guys definitely did need to get emergency supplied. Unfortunately, they can't get trucked now because I moved last turn. So they're just going to drive. These guys did find some enemy reinforcements, unfortunately, which is going to probably hurt. And it did a little bit, but we can finish them off now. Now, get them back in supply before the worst happens. And over here... Ugh. No set-piece capability, because they're out of range? Hang on, why can't they do a set-piece attack? I thought they just needed an artillery step and to not have moved this turn. Oh, the HQ is recovering. Oh no, this HQ literally doesn't have the cassette piece capability. Only the first does. Well, that's a pain in the ass. We can shell them, which has a 25% chance to reduce the fort. Here's what we're going to do. These guys are going to get here so we can repair a bridge. Which one will it be? It looks like it's going to be the first.
these guys can get over here and do a set piece capability next turn. We'll try attacking them this way. We reduced another step. That's good. Now they're in big trouble. Jesus, Polite just keeps getting worse and worse until we can take Saint Nazaire or Le Mans. So now we got to look at Le Mans. The British did everything they could in the north. We can't get any further forward. We could try bombing these guys to make sure the British actually have a use for their ability this turn. But I think we're going to want those bombs down here somewhere. Jesus, we still got to get way over there. We do have five turns to do it, and their defenses are falling to pieces here. Gulp. Um, this is the one strong fort. No, this is also a strong force. Damn. Veterans without any specialists, though. Oh, they've got tigers here. That's why it's so hard. <whistles> um, I don't have any more cards to use in this situation. Wow! The British guard's armor is actually a match for the tigers. I think they've got Churchills in here, right? Yeah. Churchills and priests. In such a case as this, we will not need help. But if we could get rid of... Mm, there's two of them guarding it. Damn it. There's no way we can get to here... Unless we weaken both of these guys. Then they can snick around behind. So we're going to try to bomb this guy. If we can get him to become weak, he doesn't have a zone of control anymore. I think it's got to be less than three steps, though, and he's got four. Cross your fingers. So he's down to three. We can force him to retreat. Let's hold off and try to beat this guy up now. Don't have the ability to do anything special. Yeah, it's going to be big losses either way. So it's down to the British. Ugh. The British are going to do some work here. But is it going to be enough? Zero to two... Or, 0 to 2. These guys have engineers instead of armored cars. The armored cars is actually going to be better. This has got to work. It really has to. Yes! He's now weak. This guy should be weak too, right? No, he's going to be after we attack. And then these guys... <laughs> I don't want to move these guys yet. I need them to have all their movement to get to Le Mans. So these guys have to come in and make that make this happen. Ah, you bastard! Still hitting you hard. Get the hell out of here. They have another Panzer Division. Jesus. There we go. The British Churchills are doing their job. I'm kind of worried about these guys, so I'm going to have to come do something about it. I was going to have these guys come and just do... Um... Yeah, these guys were just going to come and run uh, sort of defense for the armor. Capture those prisoners. That'd be good. They're still quote-unquote in supply. Now this armor here is a shadow of its former self until we can get some steps to get back to HQ. And they're going to keep moving. It's going to be slow. 
So, do we grab the spot north of Le Mans? How will that help us? These guys are only barely in supply at this point. I feel like this... is a not insignificant advantage. Actually, getting this spot north of Le Mans will give us control, not control of, but it will prevent them from blowing that bridge. That bridge is pretty crucial to getting supply flowing south from the British incursion there. Now, if they don't have anything back here that can help them... Looks like they don't. I'm gonna risk this. These guys are weakened. But capturing that area is pretty valuable. Here's a problem, isn't it? We gotta guard the other supply point. Oh, boy. Okay. Well. These guys are less dangerous. Unfortunately, they're still dangerous. Actually, I can take those back. These guys slide down here, and now they've got a Zok here. These guys can come here, and now we've got a Zok along this entire line, so that this these mobile units can't come back and cut us off. That's pretty valuable. I just want these guys to die out of supply. But I want to free up the second infantry. I'm not sure if they're ever going to get anywhere, but I'd like to free them up. Can't do it till next turn when the enemy loses their ability to push, though. So here's the 29th Infantry Division. Let's send them, I guess, on, uh, on an attack to the side here. Here's the good news, is the British now have a clear path to send a lot of their forces down here. This is the turn we actually get reinforcements. The DB, whatever that is, comes in over here. Ooh, the Free French. Okay. We'll move them as fast as possible towards the front. We want them to head down towards Caen and help push from this direction. I think that's a better direction to push from. Going all the way around here would actually take longer. I think we're going to miss out on Brest. I don't think we're going to get it because we didn't dedicate any armor to going that way. And I'm sure there's somebody defending it. Yeah. Armor wouldn't have helped there, unfortunately. So who hasn't moved that should move? Everybody's still technically in supply. Ah, we can shell them. Might as well. There's a small chance to reduce the fort if we do. Actually, we can set piece attack this. Oh, it didn't work. I'm pissed. Try again. No breach. Damn. Oh boy, that's. I should have shelled him. <laughs> Damn it! I didn't. I didn't think it was gonna be that bad. 
I need to look at these things before I, you know, do anything. Now, this may be the turn to move the British HQ forward, yeah? They've still got a lot of CPs. I just don't know what they would do with them. Oh, they can uh, fully supply two guys. Let's do that, just to mean the next turn these guys will get even more of their suppressed steps back. But now that they're done with that, they can move forward. We're going to keep them right here. And what about the Canadians? They can also move forward. We'll put them right next to the British. I'm a little worried that I just gave them the opportunity to push over here, but I don't think they'll take it. Attacking across that river is still going to be a pain for them. I moved him back so that he would get a chance to be in supply this turn. Where do we want this armor? I think it's got to stay where it is to maintain the uh, the road route here, basically. And this Sherman's in trouble. Uh, and it needs to get back within the third HQ range if it wants reinforcements, but for now it's holding a pretty vital location. These guys... I'm actually just going to reorg these. Oh, I can't do the last one. That's okay. They're just going to chill where they are. Defend Avranches. Okay, that's the end of the turn. The good news is we'll get more... I don't know if I'll need the British... I, it, it seems like I'll need the British op HQ operational... For, uh... Oh, they did get that. Because they didn't have a unit there blocking it. That's not the that's not the most important bridge there, but it is a important bridge. But the British HQ should be able to fix it if we've done our jobs correctly here. Fifteen units disrupted. Yikes, that 60% theater supply is awful. It really is. But... How do we do this? I think we do this right here. These guys are standing in the way of progress. And that can't be. But so are these Fargan tanks. I cannot successfully attack that. Not, not for a long... We need to bomb the hell out of it. I think that's the linchpin. That wasn't much, unfortunately. This unit cannot get emergency supply. Damn it all to hell. All right, they ran. So the British HQ can probably fix this bridge. Unless we want the Canadian HQ to fix it. So that the British HQ has more opportunities. So where should this armor go? This armor needs to come back and be more likely to get... Actually, where's our supply situation? Oh, oh. This guy can go here to get guaranteed supply next turn. And we can put down a couple of trucks right here to get guaranteed supply. Not guaranteed, better supply. Um, if you notice, the red bars get higher because they're now being supplied. Instead of being supplied from back here, which is off of a railhead, we're going to supply them from a supply dump that's on a railhead. It gives you an extra 10% supply, I believe. Which is now going to mean we can probably... Uh, once this bridge is fixed and we do this, get these two, we now have supply along the entire rail and we're finally ready to go.
this stupid bridge they blew this turn. Damn it, that drives me crazy. These guys are in range to be supplied. Yes, they are. But they need to stay supplied next turn, too, to get their stupid artillery back. Can they get to the trees? They can't. Unfortunately, these stupid Germans are permanently in supply there in St. Nazaire. These guys can get trucked, which still doesn't get them there. What about if these guys got trucked? They get to the trees. No! Damn it all to hell. One turn short. In such a case as that, let's back up. Have these guys go here. These guys can be trucked. Wait a minute, now you can't get there? Hold the phone. I swear they, they could just get one hex away. Because it's taking over a new area. Damn it all to hell. All right, well, they're going to go there. These guys can come down to defend the HQ from those stupid interlopers. These guys are going to be out of supply. There's nothing I can do about that. I don't know. If, is supply suddenly going to flow at the beginning of next turn because this bridge is repaired, or does the bridge repair after supply is checked? That's an interesting question. But not one we need to worry about now. Boom. Finally get these guys out of our back. That wasn't an objective or anything. It's just been a giant pain in everything. All right. This armor is tired of being stuck here. I think we need to make some one-to-one -one attacks against the stupid armor in Le Mans. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. These guys are out of range. They're out of supply. But we can cut the enemy supply here. And worry about that later. Oh, hey, these guys are actually good enough to do one, zero to one. They have a no retreat order. Well, that makes sense. If I was them, I'd put a no retreat order there too. They're gonna hold it though. Oh, oh, they didn't. But can we take it? Yes, we can. Everybody's in supply. You get supply and you get supply. which also gives this guy supply for next turn. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. So we're really on the road to get these two. I'm a lot less certain about what's going on in the West here. And I think that means I'm going to want this armor to come help. Because now I really don't need it in comparison to everything else that's going on here. This armor was going to help punch through, but now it absolutely doesn't need to. These guys are going to go and get reinforced by the HQs over there.
We still need to watch these guys, but make sure they don't do a breakout or anything sneaky. Actually, we can do some damage here. They're still not dead. Die! And give us some free supply, please. Die out of supply, please. Ugh. Takes too long for you guys to die. Because until you're dead, I'm stuck here babysitting you. The bad news is, um... The, uh... The American HQs are about to get overrun with stragglers, and it's going to reduce their ability to actually help. Push, uh, attacks. So that's disappointing. These guys are probably going to walk. Oh, no, you know what? They're so far out of supply, they can't take enemy territory, I think, at this point, being three turns out. So that's good news. We'll have a couple of trucks we can dedicate to the next turn. And once this bridge is built, I can get rid of all four of these trucks. Can't believe I let them blow that bridge. I thought it was the most important one was the bridge south. I didn't realize we are going to have such a good breakthrough here. I just needed one guy in that hex to prevent the bridge from being blown. We can't put a truck down in the southwest yet because it's not actually supplied until this bridge is repaired. I didn't actually look at the weather, but the good news is the weather was with us. Oh no. I hope the weather doesn't get bad down here in St. Nazaire. So now St. Nazaire is no longer important to securing supplies for our run east. It's now important just to increase our theater supply. And I hope I can also get Laurent What's this other one we need to take here? I forgot about that one. Some of the armor here is going to roll up and just destroy all this infantry in the north. To that end, let's also... Uh, let's change that back here. Take this... Yeah, you know, actually, that's okay, because I think these guys can come down and guard the HQ. We have more guys that can come down. These guys are kind of trapped where they are. Oh, actually, what I just did there, not necessarily going to work. going to still need to guard the rail line here. These guys cross over to here, no big deal. If they cross to here... Or to here, huge deal. about the Canadian first being right where it is. Yeah, these guys could actually sneak around and disrupt it if, this, if I do it this way. Son of a bitch, I don't have enough to do what I want. So here's what I'm going to do. These guys are going here. These guys will actually come do some damage this turn. Don't want to do that, though. Um, so now we've got the Canadian first protected, and more importantly, what I wanted to do with them is build a bridge here and here to make it easier to get around behind this and get the Zhu and get supply that direction too. Now I can just slide these guys on down to do the defending of the rail line. Alright, who hasn't done anything yet? Can you shell them? Yes, you can. Not, not super effective, but you can. 
You can't do anything down there, not right now. Oh, this, are, this can actually go a little further. Oh, we could actually not finish them off. We'll just stay right here, I think. And defend. Hmm. I don't want them to get near this rail line. And I think the best way of doing that is to take this forest. Because then we've got Zox here and here. So they can't sneak around through the clear areas to get that. They can't do it here. So we should be holding that position strong. Now, they're probably going to not get supply because they're way out there, but... Oh, these guys got St. Malo and they can keep moving. Good. These guys are good. Those guys, also good, also good. These guys kind of have to stay where they are. Unfortunately. They're really useful infantry, but I can't get them anywhere useful. So we'll put them back here to make sure these guys don't go anywhere. These guys are now completely surrounded by Zox. All right, that's it for the turn, turn four. Let's move on. This is the turn I can start putting supply in the southwest. Yeah, they're blowing good bridges. That's smart. U.S. third lost some CP to stragglers. Wait a minute. I thought I repaired this bridge. Did I really never use the... Oh, come on, me. Why do I have to be so friggin' stupid? Oh, my God. Did that just cost me the stupid turn? Wires got crossed, unfortunately. Not enough command points. Yeah, they got not enough command points. All not enough command points. This! They can't replace their nonsense. If the armor ever got there, who knows what it would be good for. We're going to send it up here. Can't, can't do it. it. The game doesn't let you do save scumming, which is kind of annoying because that is a, I just, I repaired it, but I undid it because I wanted to see which HQ I wanted to do it with. And then I forgot, which is not a realistic thing that would have happened in real life. So, yeah, I hope that doesn't completely screw me over. If the bridge is built before we check supply, I think I'll be okay. get there. Hmm. 
maybe we can bomb these guys and get them out of supply eventually. Who do we need to bomb? Maybe the guy's down in St. Nazaire. Not enough command points because the third just picked up a bunch of extra steps. Um, which these guys can technically absorb. Not until next turn. This will free up this armor that can do whatever it wants now. Get that bridge, yes, before they can knock it out. I'm not happy with these guys being over here. Because they are threatening those oh-so-important supply lines. I feel like I better keep something in Le Mans. It's such an important crossroad. And I don't know what else they have down here. These guys are going to be probably doomed real soon. But something could sneak its way up here. So maybe I need to go take tours. I don't know. Tough to say. These guys can come down and hold this area. I feel like I just need to keep this guy here for now. Until the infantry can get down. Like, these guys can come and guard Le Mans soon. Specialists take fewer step losses. They still took some. Are you finally gone? Thank you. Get the hell out of here. Well, we got real lucky on that. Oh, I didn't mean to click that. Uh, oh well. There. Finally rid of that, so we can move more guys to the front here. So this armor will definitely be able to get in and completely cut these guys off and make Lizu easier to take in the next few turns, but uh, can't do it this turn, unfortunately. All right. These guys can keep going, because they'll eventually be back in supply if I can just, you know, not be derp for a few minutes. guys free up a place? Yeah, they'll go here. These guys can go here now. We've got another artillery on the front line there. These guys can wrap around to help protect the armor when it tries to exploit. Oh, these guys, I really hope they get some steps next turn, but we're going to give them supply this turn to help them along the process. Now, 
None of these guys have the ability to get supply. Are these guys out of range? Oh, God damn it! The first is really needs to move. So that we have the ability. I mean, that's probably going to kill all of our stuff, but... It still means we're going to get St. Nazaire soon, eventually. Kind of. All right, that's not it. Where the hell are we left? Oh, we can pin them, right? No, not enough command points. Never mind. Okay. Next turn. Trucks are available. Units are out of supply network. I know. In fact, can we pull some of these trucks back without killing anybody out of supply? Yeah, let's just drop it down to three so we'll have another truck in the near future. Um, all right, let's see if we can make up for that dumb mistake. Cross your fingers. If that bridge gets fixed before supply is checked. And it looks like it did. So I think we'll have supply to those guys on the left. They should have gotten it a turn sooner is the thing. They blew more bridges. That's, oh, man, I thought the east was going to be easy, but now we've only got three turns left. All right, yeah, everybody got supply that was along this route over here. These guys didn't because they were a little far off uh, the beaten path, but of course they found an enemy. Of course they did. But I just wanted to get them, eh, yeah, into supply. That's kind of what we needed to do. These guys, we can put back in supply. Give them their steps back, which means they can perform a set-piece attack. Get them! Knock them the hell out of there! There we go. Ah, <sighs> 70% theater supply. That took a hell of a long time to effectively happen. Now these guys really need the uh, force pool to recover and then they can get a bunch of steps. Assuming that those stragglers actually made it all the way over there, and I think they did, they did, yeah. These guys are gonna continue to die out of supply. Next turn I don't need to worry about either of them because they're not gonna be able to take enemy territory once they're three or more turns out. These guys didn't get supply, huh? They were right next to it, but they didn't get it. That's too bad. All right. So these guys are going to come defend Le Mans. These guys can come and defend this other crossroads, and that means this tank army can go try to flank Chartres by going down through Tours. And I can help them out by putting a... Supply here. And is there anybody over here that's going to need supply? No, everybody's on the road so far, except these guys. Damn it. But it's not worth putting down a truck just for them. We're probably going to need a truck that helps going around these guys, but let's see how we do it here. We can actually go all the way around, because it's a river. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Completely cut them off. There we go. Now sneak in the back and continue to hit them. They're not actually entrenched, so let's just suppress. Oh, it did nothing? Really? That's very disappointing. These guys can be emergency supplied. There we go. Now they've got some better steps. I think we hit these guys with the air. So we can roll them up. Ugh. 
Sometimes it'd be like that. Actually, I can move out of the way and let these guys in for another shot at them. Now, the trucks down here are supplying everybody over there. Can we add enough to help? Yep. That uses up all our trucks, but we can also get rid of these trucks here. At least two of them, if not all of them. Yeah, we can get rid of all of them. So three trucks going to be available next turn. These guys are the U.S. infantry, and they are actually not effective unless we go give them some steps. These guys too, actually, but say la vie. Now, what do we do over here? This armor. Here's the thing. They blew some bridges over here that's going to make it difficult to get to Paris. We've got to get to those Paris areas. Oh, wow even with all the problems here. We can still inflict lots of casualties on that guy. And take a bridge. And take another bridge. Now the problem is we don't have an HQ nearby that can fix that, so we're going to have to move the British up. Or the Canadians, I guess. Do we want to move the Canadians or the British? I think we want the British because this armor is British. So let's back up the Canadians there. What has the British done this turn? The British units actually aren't in a position to do anything because there's only like four of them. Can't do that. Um, oh, we could supply those guys. That's a useful thing. Now, so, okay, this helps highlight who our people are. We've got three there, plus the armor that's over there, and that's it. So, yeah, we're going to move the British HQ forward. And then we'll try to move all the attached British units down that direction vaguely. Eh, they're all trapped. Anyway, next turn they'll be able to repair these bridges. We'll go across them this turn anyway. I'm now looking at this and I'm thinking, what if there's an enemy that can come down at us from over there? So let's move the British to a slightly more defendable position. Like Chartres itself, we can't quite get to Chartres. Let's just put them right there, defending that. This armor, what is this armor doing? These guys probably going to be in supply. Okay. Now... If we disrupt this HQ, good times had by all? I don't know. Probably don't need to. Oh! We found some bad guys. Unfortunately, our armor for the north still needs a turn to reinforce. So the armor can get out to here and still be in range of getting reinforcements next turn. This can't do anything. This can't either, but he's going to get full supply next turn, so that's good. All right. 
I want even more supply. I'm not ready to give up yet. Oh, we can su we can uh, hit them with some suppression. There we go. Those those steps are never coming back because they're all out of supply in there. Ah, these guys can leave Saint Nazaire. And since the enemy has no supply in the south, technically they could, without really worrying. Oh, these guys should definitely move forward. Does Canadian first have any... It's, no, it does not. Actually, it looks like we can also get up to here and move these guys to there. And we can maybe repair three bridges next turn. So we have backup plans. Do we keep going? I think we just keep going, sure. Enemy's got no reinforcements this turn. These guys are out of supply, so that's good news. Uh, the enemy still has supply over here, which is bad news. don't like it when they're locked in there. I don't think we're going to get all the way to Brest, which is disappointing, but at least getting two of those supply areas will be very useful. Oh, that's... Good job with those bridges. Bridges we don't need, but we will need in the next scenario, maybe. Oh. Oh, are the Paris suburbs open? I think they are. All right, well... British HQ can also repair the bridges, just for good measure. Um, this armor can come around behind to help. But before the scenario is over, we got two more turns to try to take Lisieux, Brest, and Laurent. And Lisieux, we're almost there. We're going to get it right now, I think. I don't want to bomb it. There are better things we can do. Like suppress two of their steps and then hit him with armor. And then hit him with a regular attack. And then move these guys out of the way so another group regular attack can come in. And... Can't make it in. These guys can. Prisoners and an HQ upgrade. Okay, so. The U.S. first. I have used the emergency supply a number of times, to be honest. Rear guard. I haven't had any counterattacks, so to speak, but... I'm almost tempted to buy the extra command point right now. Specializing emergency supply to only cost two is good, though. And it costs less prestige. Let's get the extra command point. That one extra point could be the difference between using a set piece attack and not using a set piece attack. Kill more things, get more score. Um. At this point, we just continue to drain him out of supply over here. Not much of value other than running up the score. 
All right, but let's go look and see what's going on here in the south. Let's just have these guys just hold Saint Nazaire, just in case. You know what I mean? Just in case. Now, I had hoped these guys could get some reinforcements. Yes, they can. Now, those reinforcements aren't going to be effective for a little while still, but it's better than nothing. If we bomb these guys, we might be able to get around behind them and go faster. They're weak now. Booyah! Ha 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 ha! Take that, thusly, I say to you. Alright, cleared the way for the armor. Oh, that's annoying. So the good news is, I don't think our armor would be very effective in the city, so we can come knock these guys out. Even though they're entrenched there. They got kicked right the hell out. Now, they've got their own inherent supply, so I can't count on them just getting killed out of supply. So I think i got to do a set-piece attack here. Which did lower their defenses, but... Damn, I only got one more turn. I could try bombing this to hell next turn. I guess we'll do a pinning attack. Are we attacking across a river there? No. I'll try... Can I truck these guys up there? Yeah. At least they'll be in range to assist with a final attack or to move in after it. So Lorient is our main goal. I don't think we're going to get to Brest if it has any defenders. It's possible that the defenders moved up here to stop us. And maybe it's now defenseless. But if it has defenders, I don't think we're going to take it in one turn. Where are these guys? These guys can go anywhere they want, but it's not going to make a difference. Eh, leave those guys where they were. They're helping to guard that main highway. Taking some prisoners, yeah. We've got trucks to put down. We can put one here. Sure. We can pick that one up down here. Ooh, these guys get a little more range. Okay. Didn't see that before. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Kill them more! Get more XP. Go, bridge, go, go. They're out of range. Damn it. <laughs> Should have used somebody else, I guess. All right, last turn. Uh, yeah, we know about trucks. Oh, well, they blew some bridges, but not bridges that are going to matter to us. Lorient, everything's focused on that. I got to bomb it to hell. Because I don't think we've got a decent shot of taking it if we don't. In supply. Excellent. We can't do any special attacks. These guys were out of supply. We've got to give them supply so they get their, their artillery is back. Excellent. So who's got the weakest force here? 12, 10, and 0. 12 and 0. 
these guys can go here. They lose their artillery step, which is a disappointment. 12 and 4. So these guys will do the first attack set piece. We remove the entrenchment. Oh, these guys can walk right in and take it. Now, these guys actually shouldn't have done that. They could have gone a little further up here, but the bridges were blown anyway. It wasn't going to happen. Hmm. Ah, we found an enemy. Well. We can't get to where that HQ is because it's cost too much to move in. So I think we're just going to call it there. We've achieved almost all our objectives. We couldn't quite get Brest. And I think that probably is due to the one... It might have been the one-turn delay on that stupid bridge, but it also was because we didn't send forces sooner. All right. We're going to hit end turn. We're done. Ha. <laughs> Allied victory. Okay. This, I'm much happier with this victory. And we gained 20% additional supply. G missing that last 10%, that that could hurt us. But 80% is much better than the 60 we had in the previous one. So we get a, a conference, right? We're going to conference? Next conference. Yeah, we've finished uh, all those scenarios. Now we get to spend this prestige. I think we want to upgrade our HQs. Damn, now we got more HQs to worry about? Jesus. You know I really like having this card. We'll consider that in a second. What did we really miss having? Range for our HQs for sure. That's a pretty strong consideration. The other thing I really do want to reference here is, so Breakout used those four, the second, the first, the second, and the first. We're either going to advance on Antwerp or we're going to Dragoon. Meanwhile, we still have the eighth and the fifth working down in the Gothic line. Wish I had a little more prestige. This is going to be difficult to distribute. The Free French are the ones that are there. Okay, coming back to this. Army B of the Free French. You know, the French not being able to do a set-piece attack or a pinning attack, I feel like that is a travesty. They also can't build bridges or do other things. But, still. What's the situation for the next steps? Advance to Antwerp and race across France. And then Dragoon. So is that what I was looking at? Is that an old one? Is race across France in there? Oh no, race across France is in there. So Dragoon actually is going to happen first, it looks like. Right, Dragoon, they, they... A further two armies landed in French Mediterranean coast and they push up. So Dragoon then race across France. Now, what's in the Mediterranean? We get to go to the Gothic line. So... The British 8th and the US 5th having the range was very valuable. Let's see if we can't get an upgrade to each one of these armies. The U.S. 7th is new, and not having the operations other than just suppressive fire, that feels like a massive penalty. And I think we gave everybody, except the U.S. 3rd doesn't have it. Let's give it to the U.S. 3rd. Now everybody has it, except Army B. And the U.S. 7th. I know the 8th and the 4th and the 5th do. But now, I think we want to increase truck range. There. 
that is a pretty significant upgrade to our Northern Europe armies. I don't think we're going to want to get, like... Paying for truck range now is only one for one. It's a lot more expensive than getting the 8 to the 10 gets you two. So... I think we're good there. What kind of cards can we buy with the $24 we have left? Nothing. Damn it, look, we're one short on the support card. Here's what we're gonna do. Somebody there is not gonna get that upgrade. Because we're gonna start by buying that card. That thing is damned valuable. So is the extra B-26 bomber, I have to say. All right, all right. Not everybody needs everything. Let's get the range upgrade on everybody first, and then we'll see what we have left. Because then we'll never have to worry about really considering a range upgrade again. Now there's two armies that could use operations. Let's give it to the US 3rd, and the Free French are like an elitish force, I think. Let's give it to them. Hopefully the U.S. 7th doesn't uh, wind up needing it desperately. All right. I think that's where we're going to start for next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one.